This session is going to demonstrate how to add photos to your PowerPoint presentation. If you want on the second slide, you can add a photo. Now, I just so happen to have a picture of myself online. Now, it's, it is borderline small. I would like to see larger images, but for the sake of demonstration, I will show you what you can do. You could right click on the image online and choose Save Image As and put it in your folder, which I'm going to do. Or you could right click and choose Copy Image. Okay, once you copy it, all you have to do is go to your presentation and then right click and choose paste or click on control V and then move it where you want. Now that's one way to do it. You all should know how to insert an image. If you wanted to insert that image from your folder, you would choose insert and then you would choose a picture right here and then you would locate the folder and locate the image that way. That's another way that you could get that image onto that presentation. Now because I want to put it in an interesting shape, I am going to go to the insert option. I'm going to choose shapes and I'm going to pick one of my favorites, which is the round, rounded rectangle. I'll go ahead and drag it out. With that shape, I'm going to go to the format option at the top. I'm going to locate the shape fill. It's a paint bucket. I'll choose that. I will then choose picture and then locate my photo that way. Okay, and if it's distorted, you might need to move it around so it looks realistic or attractive. So that's those several ways that you can get that image onto your presentation. I'm going to show you some interesting techniques. I'll go ahead. I'm going to start adding my images into Auto Shapes. Again, you go to Insert Shape, and you can see all the different types of shapes available. Okay, there's heart shapes. So you might look and consider using these shapes to put your images. I'll be back with some examples. I wanted to demonstrate some of the auto shapes. I used this particular auto shape where I put the lobster and if you'll notice there's little yellow dots. You can move them around and make the shape a little different. So I, that's something you might want to explore. But I'm going to do control Z several times to get back to the original because I like that. I just wanted to point that out with those auto shapes that you have other options. See that? You could bring that in more. So it's kind of cool. This is what I have so far for my food page. I wanted to point something out. The Italian shape, I want to keep it in a shape like this. I'm going to go ahead and choose Insert Picture. I'm going to show you what that Italian food looks like. And notice how it's tall. So literally, it should be in a tall shape. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you a really neat trick that I learned from a student. So I want to crop out the top part to make it closer to that shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to go to the Format option at the top, and I'm going to choose the Crop Tool. Now notice these little dashes, and there's a little thing when you get to it, it looks like a shovel. Click down and then drag it, and that's going to crop things out, and I'll crop some more. Now that's more shaped like this. So now once you've cropped it, you're going to go ahead and right click and choose Save as Picture. I'm going to resave that photo and I'm going to put it back into that folder. I'll go ahead and delete that and I do want to show you. I'm going to copy this and paste it so you can see the difference of the two images. The one that isn't cropped and now I'm going to show you the one that is cropped. So I'll go ahead and select that image. I'll choose format. Make sure you choose the right format option that has the paint bucket. I'll choose picture and then I'll locate that cropped image. Now do you see the difference of the two images? Let's go ahead and go to uh, View Show here. So I'm going to go to Slideshow and I'm going to choose from Current Slide. So you can see the difference. It is a much more attractive image. I really want you to take pride in your work and make it as attractive as possible. I'm going to show you an interesting technique. I went ahead and saved an image of a Chinese map. And I'm going to do something really interesting with China to put my Chinese food inside of that auto shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Insert. I'm going to choose Picture. And I'm going to go ahead and locate that map of China. Now what you want to do is you're going to go Insert again and choose Shapes. And there's Notice Under Lines. We're going to choose the Curve option. This might take some time of getting used to using this tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down and I'm going to keep clicking and dragging my cursor along the shape of the map of China. Now I'm clicking a lot and I'm going to do, try to do a really good job and I, here I am, I'm just clicking away. Click, 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 drag, click, drag, click, drag and so forth. But when you, when you see the final product you're going to be pretty excited. 
hopefully, because I know I love doing this. And when you get towards the end of the beginning line, you click and it will add closure. You double click. Now you can't tell that there's an auto shape there. I'm going to go to format and I'm going to just temporarily fill it with a color like blue so you can see what that shape looks like. Now this is kind of interesting. What you could do is you could right click on that shape and choose edit points and you can reshape that shape if you've made some mistakes along the way which is really nice. You can add a point if you need to. If you have too many points you can always right click on that point and then choose delete point. So it's just one of those tools where you have to get comfortable with it. Now that I have my shape of China, I'm going to delete that map. Almost looks like a chicken. Now I don't know if you see that line there. It's bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and choose edit points. And I'm going to right click on one and say delete. Now I'm getting rid of it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to choose the view option and I'm going to zoom in so we can see what's going on. Maybe 200%. So now you can see it better. I'll go ahead and right click and choose edit points and that's an extra point so I'm going to right click right click and choose delete and I'll right click and delete that point so you can see how it's taking shape. If you're going to be a perfectionist like me it's got to be done right much better. So now I'll go back to view and we'll go ahead and zoom. Let's zoom out at 100% and see what that looks like. Zoom out some more maybe I'll choose 70. So now with that shape of China, you're going to go to the format option, shape, fill, picture, and then locate the Chinese food. So there we have an interesting shape. I might move these over. I don't want to go too close to the edges, but I, I'm, I'm balancing my poster right now. I might make the map of China a little bigger. Of course, people are going to be curious what that is. I might get a different photo of Chinese food because, to make it look a little more interesting. So I'll be right back. So I found an image that I think will be a lot more interesting and more colorful. So I went ahead and saved it and don't forget to recredit the person. So I had to open up my document and change who I credited in the past to the new photographer. You want to be organized for this project. So let's go back and I'll click on the map of China. I'll choose format, shape fill, picture, and then locate that new image. And that's much more colorful. I have now added images to every slide. We will talk about doing the layout later, but for now, just go ahead and get your images on all your slides. Until the next session, you have a wonderful day.